Hey, what's going on? Uh, I'm James Gretsch. Today we're playing Tell Me Why Ain't Nothing But A Heartache. Uh, I'm just going to quickly test that we can hear the game. Oh, Jesus. Tell me why. Tell Me Why is a story-based game that takes your choices uh, into something, something, something. Oh no, what is this? What's up, Hannah? Welcome to the stream. Hey, Hannah, do me a favor. Give me a yell. Let's see if we can hear the game once we get into it. T-Y-T-Y. -T -Y. Tell Me Why. Delos Crossing, Alaska, March 1st, 2005. Ooh, just quick pause. I think that's right. Let me know if that fixes it, Hannah. T-Y, T-Y. Hey, kiddo. I need to ask you a few questions, okay? Can you tell me what happened tonight? I... I went to show her my haircut. She had a gun. She... Take your time. She freaked out. I... I... It's okay. No, it's not. It's not okay. My mom tried Ooh. to kill me, so... So I stabbed her. <gasps> Damn. I killed my mother. Whoa. Tell me why ain't nothing but a heart. Bro, I have no idea what this game's about. This game is from the dudes who did... Uh, what's it called? Before the Storm. Life is Strange. Did Life is Strange. I think Don't Nod is the thing. First blind playthrough. I know nothing about the game. I'm excited, though. Ten years later, I think. Fireweed Residential Center, November 2nd, 2015. Oh, pretty game, pretty game. Maybe we, we can have a good old time. There's three chapters. They're all out now. They're all about two to three hours each. So the goal is to do three streams this week. This week, One chapter per stream. And hopefully... Uh, it'll sound good. Hello, do me a favor. Let me know if my voice comes out a little bit louder than the game. Because I don't want to drown out the game. Or I don't want the game to drown out me. I like his shoes. Thanks, Hannah. You're perfect, Hannah. She got her chocolate snacks. That's her brother, I think. That's all I know in the game. This is her brother. It's about 
uh, brother and sister. Can't forget your house keys. I always forget my house keys. I walk out of the house, get to the car. I can't open the car because I forgot my keys. Ooh, are we in okay, game? First, there we go. I'm gonna find the keys to the old house. All right. Then I'm gonna drive to Fireweed, and I'm not going to freak out. Everything's fine. So many things to look at. I should probably get rid of this. I mean, I can stream it anytime I want. But it makes me happy just to look at the box. DVDs. DVD box sets are such a thing of the past, you know? Like, I, my sister just loves DVD box sets, but we're kind of at the point now where it's like, it's the point. I need to bring this with me to Juno. Did you know the place in Alaska we're going to? I've got to make solid plans to see the Geminids. I wonder if Tyler'd want to go. Hey, you want to freeze your ass off watching burning rocks fall through the sky? Yeah, I might need to work on my sales pitch. Hmm. They're going to go to an, a, what, a uh, media oh. storm? Ooh, I can't wait to force Tyler to watch this with me. He's totally going to hate it. Just between us. Hannah says, I only get them for my absolute favorite shows. No, I get that. I get the idea of buying the physical media for things. Um, I think it's become just kind of like vinyl now, where it's like, we can just get whatever we want, but when we really love something, let's get that physical version of it. My favorite, One of my favorite things I own is a um, Blu-ray box set of the Dark Knight trilogy. Oh, right. I stashed them down here. Keys. <laughs> so that's where you've been hiding. A little troll doll. It's cute. This feels like another lifetime. I love her room. It's just, it's so, like, hip. All right. I think one more season. What am I even going to do with myself when it's over? Get invested in the lives of real people? Oh my god, what a mood. I can fix everything. Oh, look, she's a little bit of a handy lady. Love that for her. Probably not going to see any stars at this time of day. Okay, so she loves sci-fi shit. She loves stars and astrology and One day I'm going to fill more of this in. And Maybe she when the hockey. house is sold, I'll book some tickets. Uh, to fix it thing. I don't really have time to dig through this right now. I think her name's Allison, right? That's Allison there. So it's Allison and Tyler. Um, Allie, she's gonna be so awkward. Oh, I'm playing this hymn again now. <clears throat> Dear Tyler, I know what you're thinking. A letter? Why all the weird and formal? What's wrong with an email? Well, I figured, hey, bro, just wanted to give my twin a shout before it's reuniting after 10 years. Damn. Of swank juvie. Oh, so maybe Tyler was the kid at the start. Killed his mama, got sent to juvie. Um, whatever, you'll faint me when we're 90. And the machines have taken over and you're still having something to read by candlelight. See? Always thinking ahead. Anyway, I can't believe you'll be out of the real, out for real in a few weeks. What? Amazing! I'm definitely uh, going to be awkward when I see you, so please try not to notice, okay? How's your last month going? Are you sad about leaving your mentees? I bet you're going, I bet they're going to miss you. I got my tires replaced, so, so that's all folks. I got my tires replaced, so I'm all good to pick you up. And you can save the snark when you see my ride. She's been through a lot, and we can't all be a car guy. We can't all be car guys. Anyway, the Vecchies, or Vecchies, uh, let me take the day off so we can go straight to the old house and get it ready for the sale and everything. Can't wait to never think about that place again. I really can't wait to see you. I don't know if I made that clear. Smiley emoji. Love you, Allison. 
That's cute. I love that for them. Can't believe I'm about to leave this room for the last time. Okay, I'm pretty much done here. I just need to grab my goblin and I'm off. It's um it doesn't look like a normal juvie. You know, maybe he was so young when he killed his mum that this is more like a mental facility kind of thing. Maybe he more put in like a place to rehabilitate him, not a kind of prison aesthetic. If I were to youth sent us. Okay, so yeah, youth center. Shit, I gotta do tutoring. Okay, so he's helping younger kids. That's pretty cool. Cool. The Transgender Man's Guide to Healthy Masculinity. Songs of Innocence. Shelter from the Flood. Okay, well read guy. Hey, little guy. You're gonna be reunited with your sister soon. Oh, that's cute. They had trolls together. Love that for them. Oh, I can't move. Uh, cool. I guess I'm totally ready to go now. You stay here. Educate the youngsters in classic cinema. <laughs> Fuck yeah, man. Trans lives matter. Denali. I need to get my application ready for next summer. She feels... Uh, Allison feels older than than her brother, even though they're twins. Is that the letter? Oh no, what's this? Hey Aaron. <clears throat> no, I got it. <clears throat> hey Aaron. You know I'm bad at this, but I just wanted to say you've been the best counselor and at risk yet redeemable youth <laughs> could want. Thanks for putting up with me and helping me in more ways than you know. I'll try to make it on the outside. I'll try to make it count outside fireweed. Survival is rebellion. Thanks, man, Tyler. Fireweed is, a, is an interesting name for a rehabilitation center for at-risk youths. Youth. Please give me water and sunshine. Teddy bear is cute. I would have kept the teddy bear. Love that for me. Oh man, imagine not seeing your sister or your brother for two, for ten years. Hi, Tyler. Hi. First time we see each other in ten years, and it's hi, Tyler. Oh, sorry. I. It's fine, Allison. Oh, Hi's a good place to start. It's good to see you. There you go. That's what you want. You want that love. Likewise. You have anything else you need to get? Nope. This is it. My last ten years in a bag. Then we should Sport. get going. We just have time to make the morning ferry. You look good in that. Thanks. One of my mentees designed it. It's really good. Like yeah, he's so incredibly talented. I got a couple of local coffee shops to hang his art. Tyler Ronan, shaping the leaders of tomorrow. Yep, we're screwed. <laughs> <laughs> so, are you gonna miss anything about this place? The people. Honestly, people. The other residents, my mentees, my counselor, Aaron. It took me a while to fit in. But once I did, it felt like home. <laughs> they made me feel safe. Safe enough to be me. Love that for him. That's so great. Hey, Tassili. I'm really happy for you. Tell me why ain't nothing We planning but to drive to Delos Crossing or push? Ache. You are welcome to walk. Nah, I'll take my chances. Need one last look or anything? Looked. Let's go. <laughs> hey yo. Fireweed is sounds like a really bad name for a residential center. 
gonna sleep soon, but I saw you were on and I wanted to say hi. Man, Silly, thanks for stopping by. I really appreciate it. Um, I hope you sleep well. And if you feel like uh, watching later, you can always get the videos on Twitch or over on my YouTube channel where I just upload the VIDs for uh, No, really. Easy I access. am 100% not creative enough to make that stuff up. Oh, and just last week, they had to turn the ferry around because a bear was on board. Jesus. No way. What Someone had a commotion situation. in the back of a delivery truck, so they opened it up. And there was the bear, fat and happy on a literal mountain of empty chip bags. Damn. <laughs> Sounds like you go where the food is. Oh, I can relate to that. So then what happened? I'm not sure. I think they couldn't get him to leave, so they tranked him. Hmm. Yeah, Aww. me. Poor buddy. Shot in the ass just for getting the munchies. <laughs> yeah, well, you know what they say. Safety first in bear country. Yeah, but prevention is best. Common sense goes a long way in keeping them from getting shot. The bear is fine, Tyler. For now. You hear they've been talking about loosening up regulations on trophy hunting again? Higher bag limits, inhumane ground traps, even bringing back hibernation hunting. Oh, what terrible. kind of asshole gets off on killing a sleeping animal? Yeah, fuck that. I'm not against hunting, but predators play a vital role in the health of our natural parks. What? Why are you smiling? I'm being serious. Oh, I can tell, Ranger Tyler. <laughs> Not yet. But at least I got the school part out of the way. Nice. He's going to be a park ranger. But he's right, though. I can't Fuck. believe you've got a bachelor's hunting, already. Hunting, While I uh... boast a half-completed certificate in accounting from an online college that may have stolen my credit card number. You'll figure out what you want. You have time. Hunting bears. Fuck that. How are you feeling? Like, I'm about to drive straight into a whiteout, and my fog lights are dead. What's a whiteout? Like a snowstorm? Yeah, yeah, that's a nice shot. What do you reckon, guys? What about you? Allison? Well, zoned out there for a second. Sorry. What's up? I'm sorry, I just... Trying to wrap my head around the fact that you're right here, standing beside me, on our way to Delos. You don't have to apologize. It's a lot. I love his hair. I wish I had hair like that. I'm guessing things haven't changed much. You mean in Delos? Still the capital of East Jesus Nowhere. East the Jesus Nowhere. Guess that normal life you wanted didn't live up to your expectations, huh? I mean, having cable and full-time electricity was definitely a plus. It is really plus, pretty, huh? Yeah. No one ever forgets anything in a small town. You get marked a weirdo, and that's it. That's your life. At least you had Michael. Yeah. I don't think I'd have survived high school without him. Bet you're gonna miss him when you move to Juno. How's he doing? Good. Good, good. Uh, but I haven't seen him much outside of work lately. He's been busy with his dance, and... Helping his clan organize a potlatch. Is that smoke coming out of Stonehouse? Guess someone finally bought that old shack. That, or the ghosts are cozying up by the fire. Think the new owners know it's totally haunted? I'm sure Tina did her best to keep them from figuring it out. At least until the paperwork was signed. Ugh. That house always gave me the creeps. Those windows are like huge gawking eyes. You think people talk about our house this way? Do you reckon that's their house there? Probably. In the center? So, we're really going back there, huh? To Stonehouse? I mean, we're going home. Yeah. Yeah, we are. Think the house will sell? No interested buyers yet. Turns out, people don't line up to buy murder houses with no electricity. Mm. <laughs> At least it's got one hell of a view. Yeah. Unlike Juno. Hey, Juno has mountain views aplenty. It just also has people and fun. You still thinking you might be my roomie? Thinking about it. Hey, can I ask you a question? 
Sure. Shoot. I was told... Um, I mean, after you, well, graduated, I guess, and became a mentor three years ago, you still basically spent all your time at Fireweed, right? Pretty much. There were a few times I tried to go to these meetups for trans people in Juno, but something always came up. I probably should have put myself out there more, but it was better to be around in case the residents needed me. So you were free to come and go as you pleased? Yeah. Uh, why do you ask? Why did oh, you nothing. Come to see Just me? being an overly invested sister. Curious how you spent your time. Hmm. If he was allowed to go out and about... Why didn't she? Why didn't he contact her sooner? I bet she's just kind of like, the fuck, bro. Allison. Yeah. Spit it out. Okay, you need to promise not to freak out. Oof. What is it? It's a gift from Eddie. I know he's not your favorite person, but... I'm sorry. When you said Eddie, I thought you meant Chief Brown, as in the police officer who arrested me. Come on, Ty, don't... And your adopted father, the man who didn't let you visit me for seven years. The Fireweed Administration backed him up, Tyler. They thought it was best for both of us. Yeah, well, it wasn't. It's a peace offering. And you're the two most important people in my life. Please. For me. He can't buy my forgiveness with some cheap-ass trinket. It's a gift, Tyler. You know what gift-giving means in Clinket culture. And what it means to refuse one. I got bad blood with this dude, but I don't want to go on a rocky start with my sister, so I'll accept it. Fine. I'll take it, but I'm not going to wear it. Really? Really. Yeah. Just so we're clear. That's it. This was for you. That's exactly it. This not is for Chief you. Brown. 100%. You no, know, you could call him Eddie. I'm call him even fuck off. Uncle? <laughs> <laughs> Hard pass. This culture and clan that she keeps bringing up, do you think it's like a Native American thing? Because they're in, they're in Alaska, maybe it's a Native American or like an Eskimo, indigenous Eskimo thing. Um, I don't know anything about those cultures. Did you hear that? Because we're Australian, but uh, that'd be pretty cool to explore that. Is it a whale? Whoa! Whoa! Place like home. Yeah. Dude, I want to go to Alaska. Fuck yeah, man. Would it ruin the moment if I said I needed to call home? Uh, yes. <laughs> Completely. Sorry. Go ahead and stop apologizing all the time. Okay, sorry. <sighs> Thanks. All right, let's have a look around this ship. Ship, ship. Let's go to the beach, beach. All right, let's have a look. Uh, so we got a car. It's so weird being back on this boat. The guy's just looking at me. Beer is my sport. Check my six pack. <laughs> me too, man. Ugh. Oh, it's beautiful. I wonder if this really is like what Alaska looks like. MV Saboteur, Alaska Sea Lions. What a waste of a good pun. The MV Saboteur. I don't get the pun. Oh my god. I don't get the pun. Say hi to this guy. Morning. Morning. Hello. Enjoying the ride? I don't think I could ever get tired of this. Agreed. Where are you headed? Uh, Delos Crossing. Same here. You from around here? Just visiting. Uh, maybe he knows Just in who town I am. for a few days. I see. Any relatives in the area? Like I said, 
just passing through. Yeah, I don't know well, who this guy however is. short it may be, sure you'll appreciate your time. It's a beautiful place. Well, enjoy the rest of the yeah. crossing. Be sir. polite. You too, young man. You too. He's also got a bumper sticker talking about his alcohol addiction, so. When everything else fails, try doing what the captain suggested. <laughs> Charming. What do you suggest? I told you. Ooh, a shovel. Isn't hunting season almost over? Almost. Want to draw for one of the last hunts of the season. Whoa, look at that antique. You're not one of those odd sixes old and boring folks, are you? Hmm. Oh, he's got a fishing rod in there too. Wonder if there'll be time to hit the buzzard hole while I'm here. I like What's fishing. No. Oh, uh, nothing. All right. Oh, he's a fisherman. He's got another bumper sticker. Headshot. Yikes. Hey, I heard that. Crime control. Huh. It's very uh. Trump America over here. Hey, Allison. Can we take the scenic route instead of the highway? Why is Allison? He I don't oh. think she can hear you. <laughs> Guess not. Where is she? Where'd she go? There's like nowhere to go on this boat. Where'd she go? Oh, there she is. Okay, we'll go back and sit and talk to her. Hey again. Fancy meeting you here. Oh, let's have a look at stuff. What's that? Hey. Didn't we used to swim off that dock? Wait, no. That was on the lake. Oh, uh, they pulled that one out. What? No. Man, so many good memories. Of pushing me into the lake? Yes. <laughs> the neighbor kid was the one who pushed you in all the time. Yeah. What's he up to? Bobby? I, uh, kinda dated him. Ooh. <laughs> no way. Spicy. Yeah. I always seem to attract the assholes. Another reason why I'm not dating right now. Damn. I watched the cell footage you sent me, but seeing it for real is wild. Yeah. It was terrible. The fire. You could smell the smoke all the way over in Delos Crossing. Mm. Two years later, and they haven't cleaned it up at all? The company went under after, and surprise, no one else is eager to take it on. Maybe it's like a soul Someone meal. died, right? Yeah. It was a crazy day. I saw a button on the car to leave. Maybe we can wrap up this this section. Get ready to go. Rock and roll, baby. Rock and roll. This is so pretty. I'm into this. I couldn't get, ever get into the Life is Strange games. I tried. I just they weren't for me. But I'm kind of into this story. Yeah, it's cool so far, right, Hannah? It's it's uh it's it's cool. Uh, I think there is a supernatural element to this game in the same way that Life is Strange had the time travel, but I think this one's different. I think this one's about... I think they have a connection. If I saw the trailers correctly, the twins have like a twin sense that helps you through the game. Something like that. I'm not sure. Go outside, go for a walk, enjoy Mother Nature. Now more than ever, right?
shave my beard, gang. Give it a trim, I reckon. Let's clean it up a little. Just a touch. Man, imagine after 10 years going back to the home. Wow. That you... It's basically exactly like I remember it. <sighs> Only... Faded. Like a Polaroid left on a windowsill. Mm. From the outside, it almost looks charming. Charm's not the problem. Structural integrity may be an issue. Hmm. You think there's a chance whoever buys it will just tear it down? Maybe. If someone buys it, they can do whatever they want with it. You wouldn't care at all? Would you? Sure. Everywhere I look, I see a piece of one of our adventures. It's got this positive attachment Everywhere to it. Everywhere I look, but... I just see her. Yeah. I'm surprised. He's the one Allison, that got did for the murder. We could go grab a bite. Start this tomorrow? No. The only way to get this done is to do it. All right. So what are we doing? We're cleaning up the house so we can sell it, right? Okay. After you. And check that shed later. What if there's like a homeless man living in here? And he comes at you like, wow, it's wow. Uh, did you smoke something before you left Fireweed? The door's right there. Um, I know. I was just checking out the window. Locked. Well, it's a good thing I remembered this. You sure that's the right key? What, they changed the locks on us? Yes. That's kind of weird. Maybe someone changed the lock. Who would change the lock on us? I don't know. We're screwed. You got a plan B? Yeah. We find another way in. Kick down the I door! Never knew a locked door that could keep the crafty goblins out. Yeah, we had a million ways in and out of this old house. At least one of them's gotta work. Through the window. Oh, look, this little bird thing. <sighs> crafty finger. goblins. I haven't thought about them in forever. Or should I say, us? This is cute. We almost spent more time as goblins than we did as kids. Oh. Marianne always spoiled the birds. She liked animals way more than people. I can relate to that. Hmm. I like how they call themselves the goblins. That's cute. Little sand pit. Remember how whenever we lost our toys in the sand, we thought the mad hunter had stolen them? Hey, I think that's the same rake I cut my foot on. Wait, your foot? Wasn't that me? What? Oh, yeah. I think you're right. Ollie and Allison Vessel. Maybe Ollie was Tyler's name before he transitioned. Ah, uh, you're out of your element, little guy. How do you know? Maybe he's a snowfish. Yeah, Tyler, fucking snowfish. How many sandcastles did we build with this? None that survived. We thought this sandbox would hide us from the mad hunter, remember? That's right. The sand was, what, supposed to distort his piercing eye? The sandbox was one of her best ideas. Remember how she made it magically appear Christmas morning? Yeah. Somehow she kept us in the house all day. That must have been tricky. Seriously. I mean, Santa and baby Jesus weren't exactly her thing. She did it for us. Yeah. It's probably the only belief she ever compromised on. I feel like, considering the fact that... Tyler it doesn't seem like the greenest well? source of energy. Not we like she had the money her? for solar panels. Like, she's much more hard on her than he is. Maybe just his time in Juvie uh, gave him the opportunity to to forgive him. Hey, Bane attack, Bane attack, Bane attack. Thanks for the raid, Bane. I appreciate it. Welcome, all you beautiful people, for playing... Uh, Tell me why, which is the new game from Dark Nod, the Life is Strange creators. It's no good. I can't open this one either. It's okay. So we'll I find my back bane attack. Okay, so we're trying to find our way into our old family home here. Oh, maybe we can climb up there. Yeah, we'll try this door first. 
your chrome froze. Oh no. Yeah, uh, give it a blanket. It'll warm up. Let me guess. It's locked. Yep. Know any other secret passwords? Hmm. Honeydew? Nope. So, Remember how mad she'd get if we didn't use the compost? Uh. And she always knew when we were lying. Waste not, or kiss the planet goodbye. Yeah, Jasmine, my partner, always hates when I don't use the compost. At least the thing. shed's still standing. Yep. I don't want to think about what might be living inside it, though. Well, better alive than dead. Ugh, yes. I can't believe these are still here. Yeah. Those creepy ass frogs. We should frogs. hide them so they don't frighten away creepy potential Creepy ass buyers. frogs, dude. All right, let's go down and check out the this little uh, dock. Hi, Bane. Welcome back. Um, I hope you had a great stream uh, playing Valorant. Oh, okay, no, you're right. What did I miss? Okay, the short version is this is Tyler. That's his sister, uh, Allison. They haven't seen each other in 10 years because when Tyler was a little uh, child, he murdered his mother. Self-defense, apparently. In this time, though, Tyler has transitioned. He was born female, now male. Um, and he's been in a juvie center, a uh, rehabilitating no, a bachelor fine. degree. Okay. He seems to be really uh, okay with what happened, though. Way, he seems to still through. love his mother, despite the fact so that she tried to kill them. To pry it off. While his twin sister, uh, Allison, is a bit saltier. Um, screwed in pretty good. We need a screwdriver. And now we are trying to get into our family home, which we are going to try to clean up and sell. So we can leave this chapter behind. Because Tyler, after 10 years, is now a free man. And that's what you missed on Glee. Ah. Fucking nothing's open. It's man. locked, all right. Locked, locked, locked. Mm. Oh, a window. Through the window! Okay. Should be something in here that'll work. Hey, I see a screwdriver. Mm -hmm. Now all we need to do is get inside. Oh, wait. I oh, um, I don't know if the voice actress trains. Um, feeling something strange. Oh, oh, what's happening? Oh. And don't leave this room until everything looks as clean as a whistle. Ugh. This is the millionth time I've gotten in trouble because of you. You and your big mouth. Hey, you were thinking the same thing. You just weren't brave enough to tell her. What good would it do? It's not like she ever listens to us anyway. Well, I'd rather scream it right in her stupid face than be a quiet little mouse. Oh, we forgot the key. We need to put it back. Maybe we could hide it somewhere. You know, for fun. Goblins are supposed to help the princess, not play mean tricks. Whatever, you're not fun. I'm only trying not to make her even worse. Is he just like remembering? Whoa. Did that just happen? I don't know. But I saw it too. It felt like it did when we used to share thoughts with our voice. It did, but that was a memory of us 10 years ago, right? I, I vaguely remember it happening. I think so. And uh, that's new, right? Yeah. We could share thoughts and feelings, but we never replayed memories like that. Why would it happen? And why that memory? I don't know. It's pretty eerie. It's weird, but our voice was always a good thing. This could be too. I'm feeling something again. Oh. Near the barn. Yeah, me too. Twins are crazy, rude, dude. Bit, bit, dude. Oh, it's cool. Feel like we sacked a Riz trans. That's like. Let's go see the silent frog. Coming. I'm coming. What? Stop sulking. I told you already. I'm sorry. No, you're not. <laughs> okay. Guess you don't want to see what I put in the treasure room then. What? No. I want to see. Where are they going? I guess we know where to search oh, now. Oh, the silent frog. remember which one is the silent frog. Well, it's the one covering his goddamn mouth. Allison, come so. on. Which one of you is hiding the key? Hmm? This one. Damn. Creepy ass. Where's right? the key? Seriously? Kidding. Oh, come on. <laughs> okay, okay, sorry. That's well, cool. So we use the memories from our childhood. Nice job keeping the secret. To uh, progress the story. 
So now we go in. At least the shed's still standing. Oh, wait, no, I gotta yep. go through this door. I don't want to think about what might be living inside it, though. Well, better alive than dead. Ugh, yes. Let's deal with that later. Plenty else to do first. Okay, okay, okay. What's in here? We've got... Huh. Bird seed. Who left this box here? Why it did I brand new. pocket the bird It wasn't seed. me. Has someone been out here recently? Screwdriver. Guess it's your lucky day, bird friends. Got it. All this for a screwdriver? You got a better idea how to get in? Hmm. I'm gonna break in. Like vigilantes. Dun, 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 dun. I'm gonna go to this bird feeder and put this bird seed down. See if we can get some cute birds. Bum, 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 da, ba, ba, ba. Refill. These birds should get a reward for watching the house all these years. Thank you for your service, little friends. Oh, cute. Very cute. But they didn't do nothing. Maybe we come back later and some birds will be there. That'd be, that'd be very cute. Okay, so now we got a screwdriver. We're gonna go and see if we can get in underneath the house. Alright, let's try it. Look at this. The muscles on you this sure guy. You sure you want to go in there? This was our very first den, remember? Who knows what lives down there now? Raccoons. Bro, I'd be scared of the spiders. But, you know, it's the middle of winter there, so I don't really know how many spiders are down there, but... Everything okay down there? Tyler? Ugh. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, that's not funny! Fuck prick. <laughs> then why am I laughing? Okay, fine. But you're still an idiot. Alright. I'm going in for real this time. Okay. I'll see you at the front door in a few minutes. Okay. Let's have a look. Okay. Nothing super interesting. Go underneath. Are you okay? Me. What happened? I just hit my head like an idiot. Wait. He's not talking. What? Where are you? Ty. I'm outside. Oh, they're in each other's heads. But I can hear you in my head. Oh, psychics. Her voice. It's back. Holy shit. Fucking twins are cool, man. I, uh, don't suppose you dragons. Straight ahead. Need to go left, I think. I don't like that the sentences cut off from each other. It should be edited better. Like, either the pacing of my You're movements. Right. Nothing here. Of course I was. Cup. Oh, look at that. That's cute. I would have taken gold. Not even in your dreams. Olympic events. Rock skipping. Aww. Yeah, Ollie must have been their, their name, their birth name. This is adorable, but like, also, if I had children playing underneath the house all the time, I would fucking knock them out. And left again after the goblins. So dangerous. Uh, we are the crafty goblins. Yes, we are. Very cute. Oh, look, there's more goblins. <gasps> the treasure nope. room. It was on the right. My bad. Oh, what treasures? <gasps> Look at all their childhood treasures! This is cute as shit. Wait, that was our treasure? It's just trash. We could make I found it. her old kite. <laughs> I think its wings have been clipped, though. Rest in peace, brave bird. Pink. It always had to be pink. <laughs> oh, man, this is adorable. Marianne grilled us about all these missing dishes, but a goblin never gives up their treasure. So it's interesting. He they keep saying Marianne. So I wonder if Marianne's the their mother. Straight ahead. You know, I almost convinced myself our voice was just another childhood fantasy. Me too. But we really are connected. Beware the hunter. The mad hunter. Why am I still afraid to say his name? It was Marianne's creation. 
She made all the creepy characters. I'm curious about this this Marianne and and, and all this other stuff. I'm into this, dude. This is cool. Oh, a little bobsled! I haven't been to the snow in so long, guys. I miss the snow. When was the last time I saw snow? It couldn't have been when I was in Korea. That was five years ago. Surely sooner than that. Come visit New York City in the winter. I will. One day I will, I promise. You put me up on your couch, and we'll go check out the snow. That'd be so exciting. This house is creepy as shit. Look at this wallpaper. New York City is the best city in the world two there? times. Two times of the year. What? Christmas and winter and spring. Mm. Tyler! Nah, I want to go to New York. Coming! I want to go everywhere. I want to go to Alaska. This looks beautiful. I wonder if this is what like a lot of Canada looks like too. Are you okay? I'll live. Canada. Good to hear your voice again. Yeah, same here. When so, the city gets the first type of warm weather, it's like the happiest place Just in the world. Working up to it. It's like the uh, the light at the end of the cold ass tunnel. Tunnel. That's exciting. It's exciting for you. For you. Um, you'd be coming out of winter now. No, no, you'd be going well, into winter now. We're here. Your mic is a little quiet, by the way. I'm not really talking loudly. Um, is this a bit better if I just actually talk into it? So, how do we get started? We figure out what to keep, what to trash, and see what else this house might be trying yeah, to show Yeah, yeah, I'm just mumbling. My bad. All right, let's have a look. Ooh, a trophy! Oh, not trophy. Achievement, Xbox. <laughs> All right, we got the water filter, washer and dryer. All right, let's see. Broken shelf, broken jar, and the washing machine. Broken. Great. The dryer never worked to begin with. Marianne thought dryers were straight up evil. Energy hogs. I hated hanging drippy laundry. I refused to change for a few weeks once, so I wouldn't have to do it. Ronan. Marianne Ronan. Ronan is Tyler and Allison's last name. So yeah, I, I am I'm under the the uh, impression that Marianne is their mother, but they just don't refer to her as mom anymore. Ooh, we should take down the creepy masks if we don't want to scare the buyers away. Oh, so now you don't want to scare someone with those masks. <laughs> hey, I just put on the mask and pretended to be a warrior. <laughs> you were the one who got freaked out by it. <laughs> right. Not that she ever let me wear them very long. Mom sounded real controlling. Oh well, there's all these family photos still here. Bathroom? Huh. This bathroom still smells like Marianne. A good scrub and we'll be rid of that too. This we were cute. so competitive about who measured taller. Like we actually had anything to do with it. <laughs> and after all that, it ended in a tie. Yeah. Are they None actually of that the crazy same size? stretching I did made any difference. Who's taller? Oh, wow, rude. Oh, rude. What a bully. Allison's a bully. Confirmed. Reflections? Yes, I love when games actually get reflections right. She could have boot heels. I'm pretty sure he's wearing, like, Timberlands too at the moment. What are we going to do with all her jewelry? Well, I'm Turf certainly it. not going to wear it. Donation pile it is, then. Handmade soap. Still here after 10 years. Impressive. You could say that about the entire house. Yeah, impressive. It's green. It's got mold and shit all over it. Wow. I forgot all about her weird concoctions. And how she was always testing them oh, on us. Oh, wow. Like we were lab rats. She sounded terrible. Alright, next room. So we got a kitchen. Beautiful kitchen. Oh yeah, uh, if I can get a picture, I can look at his shoes. No, I can't look at his shoes. No good. Huh. What was she hoping to do with all these jars? She used to barter for our clothes with homemade jam. Jesus. She tried everything to make ends meet. Well, 
Not everything. She didn't try working, I bet. Guess we never had time to complete the collection. These came out of one of the prize machines at the Vecchi store, right? Yeah. You'd slide the quarters inside on the little tray, and then magic out pops a sticker. I don't care who you are, where you're from, Padromi, what you did. Where is this going? As long as you love me. After all this time, I, I thought I'd feel more prepared to deal with this mess. Are you doing like, as long as you love me? Is that what you're doing? I heard to come and sing Backstreet Boys. Thank you. Thank you for Best that. Mom. I appreciate the love. You think we um, ever really believe that? Or were we just trying to make her happy? Either way, it was the other Backstreet Boys song. Oh. How does the song go? Uh, it's, um. Am I the only one? Yeah, yeah. Am I sexual? Yeah, yeah. Am I everything you need? You're gonna rock your body right. Everybody. Padromi, thanks for the follow. How's your body? Yeah, yeah. Rock your body right. Hey mom, sorry the vase got broke. We didn't know you loved it so much. We need to be careful and not act up in the window room. Next time we will try and use good judgment. Please forgive us for doing bad things. I'm sorry too. We should be more careful. I'm very sad we made you cry so much. We should play outside I'm instead. Sure it's still there. I should check our bedroom upstairs. I will tell Ollie not to be wild all the time. We weren't going to do it anymore. We aren't going to do it anymore. We are sorry. Back straight back. What are you reading? A letter we wrote her. To apologize for breaking that stupid face, remember? Bore your kids into good behavior. Great parenting strategy. All this Christmas shit. This is really sad. This game is actually making me a little bit bummed out. Ooh, a memory! Um, Mom? About me joining the hockey team? Mom! Sorry, what? Uh, not now. Maybe next year. But you promised! Keep whining, and my next year will become never. Can you cut my hair? Your hair is fine. But I want to cut it short, really short. What? Look, I'm tired, and I'm busy. Let's talk about this later. You always say that. Damn, what a bitch. Marianne said no to everything. It made me so pissed. She was always on edge those last few months. Maybe she was yeah. druggy. And completely deaf to everything I was telling her I needed. She pretty much always said no to me, too. True, but it felt personal with me. You could see just from that memory that Tyler was having those, you know, I don't know what the trans experience is like, but even that's an indication of, of, of wanting to do something outside the, the norm. She was trying to save to be the planet way like that. before Al Gore made it cool. Has Al Gore I couldn't imagine that pain. Cool? Nah. I guess she was right about one thing. I didn't realize how much I missed the smell of firewood. Oh, firewood is so nice. Oh, I miss firewood. With big mugs of hot cocoa. Yeah, oh, Marianne was so tired she was usually asleep on the couch. Uh, Pandarine, uh, That's why it you're in so orange. Nice. What is it? Pandarine. Oh, Marianne. Padromi. Padromi. The TLDR is. This is that Tyler. The one time and we the twin quiet. sister, Allison. We knew she needed to sleep. We all needed Ten to years sleep. Ten years ago, uh, Tyler killed his mother. The mother was attacking the siblings, um, and he killed her. Now, as a child, uh, a Tyler was born female, has now transitioned into a male, as spending 10 years in not a juvenile center, but it seemed more like a rec center. 
and like a rehabilitation thing. So they helped him with his transition, with his bachelor degree. He wants to be, I think, a park ranger or something. We're in Fucktown, nowhere, Alaska right now. And this is their family home that they're going to get ready to sell because now after 10 years, he's kind of free to be, you know, away from the crime. Uh, in the meantime, Allison grew up with a officer that lived in the town. Um, I don't really know what happened that night of the murder. We haven't gotten there yet. But what's really interesting is that they have this weird supernatural connection as twins where they can talk to each other telepathically and they can both visualize like actually visualize memories from their childhood so right now we're just exploring their house that they want to sell I'm and sure be rid it's of still there. i should check our bedroom upstairs we're gonna head upstairs to the bedroom and they were just exploring it um this is from the guys who did um life is strange i'm pretty sure don't nod is the name of the studio um, it just came out. You can get it now on the Xbox or PC uh, through Game Pass. I'm playing it through, so I paid one buck for a month of PC Game Pass, and now we're just streaming and we're just hanging out. Three chapters all out now. They're about two and a half hours each, so I'm just gonna uh, punch through chapter one today and get through the rest of the chapters this week. And that is that's all. And that's what you missed. Ugly. This is kind Yo, of a nice house. What are you doing down there? What do you think I'm doing? Trying to figure out if anything in Marianne's mess is worth keeping. Any progress? Not really. What about you? What are you doing up there? Uh... Uh, you know, just plotting world domination. Ah, that's a big responsibility. Not sure if you can hack it, Ronan. <laughs> <laughs> oh, ye of little faith. I guess it is about time to check our bedroom. A I'll be up in a second. A tale of... I can't read that. A tale, a tale of two swords. I like these guys. They're in d and I can tell. They play D&D &D for sure. Alright. Here we go. Oh, man. Now this... This feels like home. Wow. Tyler, do you copy? <laughs> if we don't move fast, this whole thing is going to melt. Do you copy? Copy, Allison. Gonna get this thing moving soon. Don't want the Mad Hunter to catch us. <laughs> Over. <laughs> the Mad Hunter. Oh, he still gives me the creeps. I wish I could forget about him. So, for context, um, they used to be two goblins as children, and the Mad Hunter would come for them. And I think the insinuation was that when the mum was actually kind to them, she was the mad hunter, but I think that might of now have a negative connotation because they she actually tried to mad hunt them. Let's explore this room. Uh, Bane in chat. Seeing kids' rooms in video games is such a tearjerker. Yeah, man. Anything like hey, with the postcard we sent ourselves from Juno. Home connotations. It's, it's hard. What? We barely had any friends. We even had to be our own pen pals. Oh my god, that's so sad. Hey, Allison and Ollie, we are writing from the past. What's it like in the future? Anyway, wow. Juno is super cool. Look how small these beds We took are. the tramway all so the little. way up. Yeah. Ollie was scared. Liar! We got some books, but Mummy went to the restaurant at night and forgot them. It was cool. There are a lot of whales on the ferry. No, there wasn't. There was just water. Stupid. Anyway, here is a postcard to remind you how awesome we are. Especially me, A you know, Allison and Ollie Ronan. They seem like really cute I never appreciated siblings. this view as kids. Imagine not... I just... I said it before, but imagine not being able to see your siblings for 10 years. It's insane. I, don't know, I want to look at this board game. There we go. Look! It's the game we made. Luge and Tramway. Luge that and game tramway. never made any sense. Didn't stop us from playing all day. <laughs> Dude, we were kids. All hey, buddy. It's been a long time. Oh, wow. Allison. Allison's oh, a cute name. This one wasn't mine. Allison is a nice name. Alrighty. What else is in this room? Get your beds. Is this a celestial map? Alaska. 
Whenever we asked for a TV, she'd just bring home a big stack of books. I think she did us a favor with that one. Yeah, not the worst mm, thing. You may not agree when we start digging into the HBO back catalog. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> oh, wow. Ugh. Some of our old toys give me the creeps. Old toys? That's, that's a stick. That's a stick with a, with a plastic piece taped on it. <laughs> Got you for Christmas a stick. Oh, look at Shrek. You know, if there's one thing you gotta give Marianne, it's that she let us explore our artistic side. You should have seen Eddie's face when I tried to repaint his car. Yeah, I bet Uncle Eddie didn't appreciate your artistic touch. <laughs> I'd rather you called him Chief Brown if you're gonna be an ass about it. <laughs> so for context, Eddie is the guy that raised Allison. He was also the officer that arrested um, Tyler. So Tyler is not very sweet on him. Look what I found. What? Only our greatest creation, the Book of Goblins. The Book of Goblins. <gasps> Seriously? It was in that chest the whole time? All these stories. Oh, wow. I had ideas for so many more. Marianne wrote a lot of them. Yeah. It's one of the only times I remember her being at peace. Oh, it's an actual, like, storybook. That's crazy. Oh, wow. I'm not going to read them all in the stream but we'll look at one waiting for a DD reference there's already been a few they, were, they had a kite underneath the house that said like lightning strike on it and it's just like cute little shit like that um the goblins earn their voice this is really pretty i think their mum was the princess in the context of these kids stories which makes it kind of sad. Once upon a time, in the deep and ancient forest, the crafty goblin spied on the secret keeper as she made her rounds, gathering up secrets that the animals of the forest had for sale. How? said the first goblin. How does she get people's secrets? Do you suppose she peels open their heads? Oh, let's find out, said the second. And so the goblins watched the secret keeper. It's cute. It's very cute. Ah, where is it? You looking for something in particular? My diary. You never told me about it. Yeah, with the way Marianne was, I tried extra hard to keep it a secret. Marianne. Yeah, that day she found out about it. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh no. Give it back! Sweetie, whatever I do, it's just for your benefit. You read it, didn't you? You had no right to do that! I have the right to do whatever I need to protect my little girl. I'm not your girl! I hate you! You will always be my little girl. And no matter how hard you fight me, I'll fight twice as hard to keep you safe. saw it coming. She told me right to my face. She was willing to hurt me, to keep me from transitioning. Tyler, there is no way you could have known she'd go that far. I want my diary back. Her room was the only place I didn't look. Okay, but do you need to get it, like, now? That diary was important to me, Allison. Writing down my thoughts helped me realize who I am. 
Well, then let's go find it. You think her room is still locked? It always was. That was heavy. That was I'm heavy. Looking forward to going in there. So I, I feel know, like, but we'll have to eventually. I feel like I the implication back. there was that their mum tried to kill kill him because he was trans, and that's just a. Again, I don't know what the trans experience is like, but I can understand a parent trying desperately to change who you are. So. But I can't imagine that kind of pain. That's fucking crazy. Whew. All right, let's keep going. Ice King finally caught the hag. His furious voice could be heard throughout the forest. For your wickedness, you will be eternally bound to the lake. What? No way. Quiet, let me finish. You will no longer be allowed to leave. Not even under a full moon. The moon hag was imprisoned in the lake. And she never again tried to escape. Hmm. <laughs> and then the title. What do you think? Not bad, right? Uh, I guess that's okay. But I would have changed the end. What? No way! <laughs> this is so cute. Just kids telling stories to I each totally other. I forgot about him. That's because it was dangerous to mention his name. He was too powerful. <laughs> Alright, we need to go to Mum's room. I'm not sure where that is. Because upstairs seems to only be the kids' room. Uh, excuse me, sis. Excuse me, sis. Thank you, sir. Sir. Sis. Alright, so... Let's see... Ah, uh, maybe that room there. I haven't been in there yet. Hold up. What? Remember this? Uh, unfortunately. You must solve my riddle to earn the right to enter the princess's sanctum. <laughs> Nothing a good hard shove won't take care of. I mean, yes, we could brute force it, but it might be kind of fun to finally solve it, right? We have different definitions of the word <laughs> fun. Okay, well, if we break it, we're just gonna have to fix it for the sale. So let's at least try not to. You have the Book of Goblins? Uh, yep. Okay, puzzle. Hand it over. What are you looking for? The image on the door. It's making me think of a story from the book. One that Marianne wrote. You have a way better memory than me. Well, the Book of Goblins was my creation. And you'll never let anyone forget it. <laughs> Here it is. The one about the princess's party. Give it a read. I think the symbols may represent something in the story. First ghost memories, now storybook puzzles. Love that. What a weird day. <laughs> what a weird childhood. Yeah. Touche. All right, let's have a look. Princess party. Okay, so we need the princess party, so let's just jump to the front. And it's the princess party. Here we go. Uh, how many pages is this? I feel like I'm doing homework. Don't like that. Okay. Once upon a time, in a deep and ancient forest, the princess was melancholy because it was the one year anniversary that she had to run away from home. Sensing her sadness, her forest friends showed up to the door. They were headed by the pelican, pious and attentive, and organized by the moose. Stalwart? 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 What the fuck does that mean? And farsighted. The old bear was there with his claws so sharp as well as the big frog prattling, 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 a bit, a bit prattling away. Even the haughty muskrat, who almost never had time for anyone, had come. The bear invited her to ride on the back, promising no wolf would harry her path. The muskrat had nothing in particular, mooching on everyone else's hard work. The princess had a very good time. Devised a bit of mischief. When the princess went to open her gift, she found three... Cardboard boxes on the edge of the glen. Puzzled, she turned back and gasped at the entire party and vanished. Had that vanished. Because you have taken your friends for granted, called the naughty fairies, we have hidden them from you, but we like games. Guess who has given each of these presents and you'll get your friends back. Okay. The princess opened the first box. Inside was a torch, which was lit. Revealed the tr which was lit. When lit. 
revealed the truth. Hmm, said the princess. Someone wants to make sure I don't get lost in the woods when it gets dark. Which of my friends is like that? She opened the second box and there was a sword. Uh, someone wants to make sure that I'm protected if I'm ever under a friend who gave me such a gift. In the third box was a bag of coins that always provided money if the bearer truly needed it. Who gave me this uh, to buy food when I'm hungry when uh, and clothes when I'm cold? Which of my friends would give me a gift like that? The princess thought about her friends and smiled certainly. Fairies, I may have been thoughtless, but I appreciate all of my friends have given to me and done for me today. She gave her answers and the vexed fairies who had forced to restore the party in a flash of colorful light one by one. She gave the animals a hug and thanked them for the presents, the parties, and all they had done. Okay. So. It was a torch, a sword, and a bag of coins. The torch was so it can light the darkness, the sword to protect you, and the coins to provide. So. Okay. So I'm assuming this is sword, uh, torch, this is sword, and this is the bag of, uh, money. Okay. So, if anyone in chat has any ideas, please give me a holler, but we'll, we'll have a think here too. Okay. I feel like the bear bought her the sword, because it says here, the bear had her right on the back, promising no wolf would hurry her path. So, like, he's protecting her, kind of thing. So, I'll go, the middle is the bear, which I've already got. Alright, the next is the torch to light the path. Pelican pies and attentive, stolen and farsighted. The moose is farsighted, so maybe he's like looking ahead, like a fire would help you look ahead. The moose had arranged after clouds, winking fairy lights that the moose had arranged. Yeah, I reckon the moose is the torch, he had the lights all set up. So we'll go moose, moose, bear. And then the last one uh, is a bag of money. The muskrat had done nothing in particular. Pelican provided food, so maybe he's the coin one. Let's try it, Hannah. 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 Hannah! All right. Good job, dude. If I bang. Thanks, Hannah. Hannah, pro gamer, knows everything about pelicans. <laughs> and boom, we're in. It's kind of creepy that this light is still on. Has it just been there for 10 years working off like the generator? No, I reckon someone's been living here. Dude, what if the mum's not dead? What if that's the plot twist? That he went away After for so many years. years. I expected this to feel more, you know, like a win. Mm. Speak for yourself. I'm the one who solved the riddle. <laughs> nah, Hannah solved the riddle. What's up, oh, Hannah? I feel like you're not gonna let me forget that. Oh no! Where do you it think we was should triggered start by looking? the door. When the door opened. The light went on. I don't know. Where in this mess would she stash someone else's personal thoughts? Okay. Let's have a look around. Hmm. Heck yeah, Hannah. Oh, uh, there's a memory. There's a memory somewhere. Hmm. So she was standing here, spying oh. through the window, oh. drawing us while we played. Oh. I just can't get through. Whatever's going on, they won't let me in. Oh, they used to tell me everything, but they shut me out, Tessa. They've shut me out. I've had so much on my plate lately, and... And... They're convinced I'm the enemy, and I don't know why! Tell me why! I huh? need them. I need my 
like goblins. Oh, wow. I remember now. We heard her crying. We listened through the door. Seeing her like this. As if she's still here. It's... It really sucks. She was really coming apart those last few months, wasn't she? It's tough. This is tough. This is a really cool game, eh? Alright, let's see. Oh, that's creepy as shit. I don't want... It looks like a fucking dick. It looks like something Jester made. Oh, yes, I'm Jester. Hmm. So she was standing here, spying through the window, drawing us while we played. She always had her eye on us. My entire body just shivered. <laughs> Straight in the trash? No. I thought we could sell it on the internet. True. Maybe we could sell it to the guy who collects John Wayne Gacy's clown paintings. Oh, creepy. Creepy, creepy. Yo, I saw a TikTok yesterday where they were talking about a story about John Wayne Gacy. Is there a John Wayne Gacy, like, documentary series or something like that? Because I don't know anything about this killer clown. clown and I'm, like, the number one expert on being scared of clowns. Ooh, she was on drugs. This explains a lot. What is it? They're mostly full. She was too stubborn to take medication. You gotta do it. The doctor says you need meds. Take your she meds. She always had to have a picture of us close by. Why this picture, though? I mean, do you see the expression they on her face? They look scared. Why would you have a picture of your children? Scared. Ask Kiara. Yeah, I'll shoot Kiara a message, see if she knows anything about a John Wayne Gacy doco. There he is. It's here. I knew it. Fucking I fucking knew it. Yeah, fucking knew it. Do you yeah. think she read it? Of course. She was nosy as hell. Raising your transgender child. Virtue Seekers Youth Camp. Why would she have a book about conversion and a book about helping a transgender child? It's just like she was at conflict with herself. Tyler. <laughs> Tyler. What? Look. Where did you find that? It was on her desk with her papers. Seriously? Are you fucking kidding me? Look, we gotta be really careful not to overthink this. But it doesn't make any sense. She, she was mad, right? She was mad I, I, I cut my hair. She attacked me because I cut my hair. She was mad and she attacked you. We both saw it. Then what is this shit? I don't know. I don't know. Tyler, come here. She can't do this to me. Not now. When I've finally made sense of a few things. Well, that was your first mistake. Thinking the world made any kind of sense. <laughs> yeah. Ten years in the grave, and she's still finding new ways to piss us off. Yeah. I think I need some air. I have a thought, guys. I'll wait for the cutscene to end, but I have a thought about... something. What if um, she didn't try to kill him? What if they had this idea that she was a monster in her head just because of the fantasies that they were living in? 
And what if she actually, like, as an adult, had real adult problems? Are you really, really sure? I am. Do it. Okay. Uh, here we go. <laughs> is endearing I don't know I don't know what to think about this Whoa. is it all gone yeah yeah Bane I know why you're laughing that's it you, you two amazing. days ago <laughs> <laughs> really yeah <laughs> I can't wait to show mom I'm glad Hannah she's been so sad lately more than sad she's been scary yeah but not tonight though it was almost like a party. <gasps> thank you, Allison. You don't have to thank me. You're my sister. I feel more like... like your brother. Brother, sister, we look out for each other. But I'm um, pretty sure I just gave you a really bad haircut. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is so sweet. This is so cute and endearing. They've done a really good job with the brother-sister relationship. Mom! Oh, this is the night, isn't it? Oh, fucking hell. happens oh I want to know what happens glad we found your diary me too I guess she was trying to figure out where you were at yeah well she should have asked I wasn't some goddamn research project I was her child Raising your transgender child? Do you even know how rare these books were in 2005? Was she trying to figure out how to support me? Maybe. Which, she wasn't trying. She never... <sighs> it doesn't make sense, I know. No, it doesn't. You cutting your hair was what set her off, right? Allison, she read my diary. She already knew. It wasn't my hair. And if we were wrong about that... Fuck. You think she read it. It's possible she never even opened the diary, and that things are exactly like we always thought they were. But if she did, and they aren't... God, Tyler. Sure. I mean, we could have been wrong. But what good does it do to ask the question now? You mean other than not having to live with the thought that my mom tried to kill me for being me? Tyler. I know you want there to be something to find. Something that'll make it all make sense. But she was unhinged. So that's it then. She was crazy. Nothing else to say. I think we'd be better off if we tried to move on. Why don't we talk to a few people who knew her? 
See if that book makes any sense to them. People don't want to talk about Marianne. They pretend like that night never happened. Now, I want to know, uh, why the fuck would she have a book like that, but still be so... Now, nah, I want to know. What about Tessa? She was Marianne's closest friend. Let's ask her about it. Sure. But I'll warn you, she's particularly touchy about this subject. Well, maybe she'll talk to me. I was always her favorite. Operative word, was. Hmm. But we need to go by the store anyway. To get a few things for the repairs. Great. Two seagulls, one stale hunk of bread. <laughs> I'm not sure I like that analogy. Listen, I know you don't want to keep talking about this. But you're obviously not going to be satisfied until we do. You'll never be satisfied. So let's talk. Um, why did the mom have the gun in the first place? Sorry, that's a great question. That's a great question. Why did the mom... See, that's what I'm thinking. That's where my head's at. What if... It's, uh, I'd hate to say this because it feels like I'm victim blaming, but I'm, not, I'm trying not to. What if it was all in Tyler's head? What if the mum was genuinely just having a bad time with work or like, we don't know what their, their dad is. Maybe the dad was doing something terrible to her. What if she genuinely was just in a bad place and it was just all coincidental and portrayed in such a way that it looked like or felt like she was trying to kill them when maybe they're not. Maybe... Someone was coming, maybe she's... I don't know. I don't know. There's too many questions in the air. Why did she have the book? Why did she have the gun in the first place? Opposite end of the spectrum. What if she had the gun? They said that, he said that um, it felt like a party, right? What if Tyler's right? And she had the gun because she was going to kill them that night. And that was her intention. And it was kind of like when your dog's sick. So you give the dog a great day before you have to put the dog down. So what if she was really kind to them and threw them a party and gave them great food and whatever... Because her intention was to murder them. Which is super fucked up. I know that's super fucked up, but like... The fact that this quest this game is making me ask all these questions, I'm into it. I'm, I hope you guys are into it too. Um, let's talk. Why rush to house sales? There's something wrong. We have a plan. Uh, we have a plan. So, we have a plan? Yep. We ask around about Marianne, but we also stick to our repair schedule. If that's really what you need. All right. Deal. All right, we have a bit of a deadline now. Ollie's Diary. It's been a long time since I heard that name. Was I the only one who ever called you that? Actually, no. I used it at Fireweed for a while, until I settled on Tyler. Most people were pretty chill about the switch. Not everyone, though. What do you mean? I had a mentee who refused to call me Tyler. He didn't want my help. He didn't want anyone's help. I'm sorry. I like the name Tyler, by the way. Thanks. Yeah, Tyler's a good name. She is such a suck up. The ch <laughs> these drawings are adorable. Do this. Don't do that. I'm sick of her voice. I'm Holly the Goblin. And she saw, yeah, he saw his mother as a as like a dragon. It's a monster. It's kind of like. I don't know, would mum be happier if I could do what she wanted me to do? Nah, parents will never be happy if they don't like who you are, no matter what you do for them. You can't change who you are, just be true to you. I think I'd like to end up somewhere like this, just not here. Somewhere with more trees than people? Exactly. <laughs> Just go into it with a little more of a plan than Marianne did. Already working on it. With my degree, it'll be easy to get a job as a ranger. After you spend a little time yeah, in man. Juno? Just go to college. Uh, still get a degree. On It'd be super easy to find work. <laughs> if you squint, you can almost forget Tello's Crossing's only a few miles away. I'm sure Marianne tried to. Can't blame her. We're headed there for supplies later. Are you ready for that? Yeah, but I was really enjoying a day without <laughs> assholes. Just a little longer, and every day will be asshole free. That might be <laughs> asking a lot. I don't know, man. I don't know. I think no matter what you do, you're always going to be stuck with at least one asshole. Am I right? <laughs> All right. Uh, all right. I think 
That's enough time enjoying the view. I wasn't gonna say anything, but... Yeah, yeah, I know. I was the one all eager to go, and then I started waxing poetic about the landscape. Go ahead. I'll catch up. Need to respond to a message. Ah, uh -huh. my sister. The social butterfly. Seems we got a trespasser. Uh, what the fuck? You got five seconds to talk me into defending my property. Your property? Five. Four. I'm Tyler. Don't know any Tylers. Three. Two. Sam! Ellie? What are you doing out here, girl? This is our house. Was I talking to you? Sam, put the gun down. This is Tyler. My brother. Well, your brother? Oh, shit. Huh. I guess I heard about all that, but I never... <laughs> Damn. <laughs> you look like a real man. So do you, Sam. You know what I mean. I just didn't know they could make a woman look so much like a man. You know, I'm just trying to be me. Fucking it's just old, who I am. White people. Hmm. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've seen a couple of lady transvestites oh, on the TV before, sake. but uh, I've never seen a dude. Sam, that's not how you say that. Say what? Transvestites? Yes. It's transgender. Transgender men. Uh, I'm sorry. It's hard to keep track out here in Delos Crossing. <laughs> the world's just moving on without us. Oh, he doesn't seem to be old. It's fine. Just, Let's just change the subject. A little... <laughs> Works for me. Out of touch. Tyler. Thanks. Is that helicopter Sam. on my end or your end? Or the game's end. Hang on. Oh, it's in the game. So, what are you doing here exactly? Oh, well, I, uh... I've been kind of keeping an eye on this place for you, you know? Like patching the roof, checking the pipes, and you know, all that yeah, stuff. Yeah, you're right, Bang. You, At least, Sam. like... Oh, yeah, yeah, it's... Uh, that's putting an effort is. into correcting people, I think You know, your mama, uh, she was, uh... Goes a long way. Lady. She deserved much better than... Game. You know, uh, Maybe, I don't know. What you got? Didn't you used to help Mary Ann with repairs and building projects? Oh, yeah. Yeah, seeing as your mom had never had a man around, I just you know, took it on myself to help her keep this place standing. How antiquated of you. Hmm. Thanks. Uh, yeah, guess you two are still aiming to sell the place? That's the plan. Which, by the way, we need your keys. Yeah. Since apparently you went and changed the locks? Oh yeah, absolutely. But, uh, selling your mother's house? Are you sure? Bad or good? It's all you've got left. Yeah, fuck that. Bane, you're right. Um, using that language should be uh, in the script if it means to be corrected properly or fix Allison's the good sister. I think you're right. Uh, I think just having it there, it's, I feel like, a way to generalize an outdated way of thinking and then having Allison come in and correct it shows the appropriate way of... Not only handling that situation, but then with this Sam dude being like, oh, I'm sorry, we're just, we're a little outdated here. I feel like it's more ignorance than bigotry, which, if you're going to have it in the game, I would rather see it as uh, ignorance that is grown from. Because, you know, I think for me, coming from my background, a lot of my relatives that are older generations are still struggling with even simple stuff as, um, you know, homosexuality. So more complex things like um, transgender people and that kind of thing is hard to eloquently discuss. So if this game is played by a, a large group of people, having moments like this might help people who are ignorant and not bigoted, 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 uh, have a chance to be like, oh, that's how you say it. I didn't know that. And there's people that don't think about it. Um, so I agree that having it in this scenario to be 
commented on and corrected it's for the greater good no, good of not only the narrative but the people in it i was not paying attention at all to that last question better good it's all oh, selling the house uh I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna be rude to this guy i think tyler is not, not all. a rude i'm person. sure the gun she tried to kill us with is still somewhere in there tyler what what tyler means is a fresh start is what we both need of course yeah this place has got to be full of all kinds of bad memories. Yeah, you do you. You do you, Bane. But maybe some good ones, too? We should get going. That's all you think we'll get out of him? He's too wasted to be of any more. I don't like this guy. I don't want anything to do I'll with him. I'll tell him to get a move on then. Well, we've got a supply run to make, and Uncle Eddie's expecting a visit, so. All right. Yeah, of course. Uh, get going, you two. Um, Sam, we all got to get going. Oh, uh, of course. Of course, yeah, I got lots to do myself. I... Lots of to-dos on old Sam's list. And you don't want to keep Brown waiting, you know? <laughs> Thanks for looking out for this place. Happy to do it. I... Uh, don't hesitate to reach out if you need anything. Anything at all. You hear? He was sweet on her. He was Sam? sweet on the mom. Huh? Uh, Sam? Huh? The keys? Oh, yeah. Of course. Of course. Yeah, they're, they're yours. I, uh... uh mm. Fucking drunk. This place it meant a lot to your mother. It almost felt like you know, it was a part of her. And, and it's like some part of her is alive here still. Hopefully the house doesn't turn out to be a murderous psycho that tries to kill us in our sleep, huh? It's not helpful, uh, man. Yeah. Well, uh, take care of yourself, uh, both of you. Hey, so we really do have a lot to do. Okay, go on. I'll be right behind you. I love his hair so much. I can't deal with how beautiful his hair is. Oof, 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 oof. A lot of tension, a lot of tension. We are an hour, 42 minutes into this stream. Woof, big stream. Thanks everyone for hanging out. Who's been hanging out? We're going to keep on trucking as they will. We're gonna, I, want, I want to finish this chapter as soon as possible. And if I've been told correctly, we should only have about half an hour, 45 minutes to go. So we'll see how we rock. to Veni Vidi Vecchi? What? What? The fuck is Veni? to talk to Tessa. Veni Vicky Vec... What? Just Some twin try shit. to keep in mind that your memory of her is ten years out of date. Yeah, well, it wouldn't be if she reached out to me while I was in Fireweed, which she didn't. I still can't deal with that place being called Fireweed. So I'm guessing this is Michael? Tessa's Cafe Alaska. Vere Vece Vere Vesic Cafe Gas 
We got gas here. Not gas, but gas. Uh, no, oh, it's the church. Hey, you. It's Michael. Hey. Yep. Isn't it your day off? Yep. We're here as patrons. Tyler, meet Michael. This is the annoying coworker I was telling you about. I was there for your introduction of marshmallow vodka and wine coolers, and I've only worked my way up to annoying coworker. <laughs> Rude. <laughs> Don't worry, she told me exactly how miserable she'd be in this town without you. It's so good to finally meet you. The Tyler talk goes on 24-7, so I feel like I already know you. <laughs> Cute. So, uh, you here to grab some stuff for the homestead, or...? Yeah, we decided it'd be easiest if we just stayed out there. We'll get it cleaned up faster if we literally cannot escape it. Hey, I'm all for efficiency. Okay, Tyler, Cannot go. wait for us to get out of here. <laughs> oh, Tyler. What's that? Premier... Premier League. Um, Michael is moving to Juno, too. We were thinking of being roommates. Oh. Okay. Thinking about it? You better not be backing out on me. The only thing that gets me up some mornings is marking one more day off the calendar. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, she won't. We'll get the house sold, and you guys can move on. There could be room for you, too. <laughs> for sure. The more Ronins, the merrier. I'm studying to be a chef, so uh, Ooh. You know, it'll be good eating. Ooh. And, hey, I only snore during allergy season and baseball. <laughs> How can I say no to that? <sighs> Are you okay? Dead on my feet, girl. Got up at four to fish before work. It's been a day. Oh, you like to fish? Yeah, there's this spot called Buzzard Hole I go to at least twice a week. It's like an hour drive, but it's so chill, especially so first chill. thing in the morning. Shut up. I used to go there all the time. For real? Yeah. Hey, well, if you want to go sometime, holler at me. I don't mind sharing. Cool. Most guys I know get all Smeagol about their fishing spots. <laughs> <laughs> Smeagol. Oh, look at you two. Like Binding over the most slow and boring way to kill an animal. She's just jealous because she couldn't catch a fish. Even if she filled the lake with cyanide I'm first. Not... Ugh, never mind. I Tyler, like this guy. We better get started with our shopping. Yeah, I'll be around if you need anything. Love that for him. Ooh, memory. Is a memory. I want to have the crispy tocino and noodles and spring rolls. And can we get the coconut cake for dessert? Easy, easy, my hungry goblins. We have to leave some food for the other customers. But Auntie Tessa said we can have whatever we want. See, there's these yeah, moments of kindness me. that's just... She still make those, what are they called, fried banana rolls? Oh, yeah. Right. Mm, no, I'm pretty sure she made them special for us. Well, hello, Miss Ronan. Did you forget something in the office? No, just doing some shopping. You remember my brother, Tyler? Your brother? Oh, right, Tyler. What a pleasant surprise. Didn't Allison tell you I'd be by today? Yes, I think she did. I just didn't expect to see such a dapper young man. <laughs> well, I did shower this morning. <laughs> <laughs> did you just get back into town? Or? That makes one of us. More <laughs> or less. We've been working out at the old house. But surprise, surprise, after 10 years of sitting empty, it was missing a few things. Hence the supply run. Ah, right. Well, we'll get you set right up. It must be nice to be home. Uh, I'm not sure nice is the word for it. Oh, of course. I assume being there feels complicated. Mm, that's a word. That's one way to describe it. Well, don't let me keep you any longer. This guy's running for me. I'll be man. here if you need anything. Oh, hey, is Tessa around today? Um, the wife's not in at the moment. I'm sure she'll be around later, though. Okay. It's a so miracle. We need candles and an all-purpose cleaner. Plus snacks and drinks. I'm starving. All right. Uh, what's she say? Uh, a candle. Whoa! Look at these veggies. Whoa! Look at this pumpkin. It's a big ass pumpkin. 
that tea? How many hours did we spend here as kids? Too long. I don't remember, honestly. Most of those memories are stashed somewhere deep inside my brain. Yeah, I feel like Allison doesn't really care about. Michael, you want me to pick up some birch syrup for you? What's birch syrup? Some roundabout way of asking me to make you two my world famous pancakes. <laughs> Ooh, busted. So like, oh my god. Oh my god. Maple syrup is called maple syrup because it comes from maple trees. Is that why that's called birch syrup? Because there are birch trees that have its own syrup? Is that why maple syrup is called maple syrup? Because it comes from maple trees? What? I need to Google that later. Let's see. Fresh cut peas. Oh my god, Hannah, I'm so stupid. Cake, toasted no. marshmallow. Are you, Are you serious? That that's why it's called maple asshole. syrup? Because nope. it comes from maple Just trees. These fancy ass candles. I am so fucking stupid. Mm. Plain candles are fine. Hey, if we buy ice cream, we can keep it cool in the snow. Ice cream in twenty to get Tyler. Candy or chips? Both. You know I got a sweet tooth, sis. Sugar rush, it is. Stripes. Oh, they got nut nut spread. They got that nut nut spread. I love me a little nut nut spread. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Need help with something? No, just doing inventory. You don't want in on this. I'm sorry, Andrew, I'm stupid. Who is this fish? Hey, Tyler, remember the Trout King? No way, it's still here. I thought Tom would have retired him by now. Are you kidding? He never misses a chance to tell customers he won a trout derby. <laughs> it was a 12 pounder! <laughs> Shoot. Any opinion on cleaning products? Only that using them is an unfortunate way to spend an afternoon. Um. Let's go with the green. You think you could take one. a picture of mm, Organic's better. Oh, uh, wait, what did he say? Where is he? He wants a picture or some shit? I should grab some bait for my next fishing trip. Alright, anyway. Uh, let's see here. We got stuff in the fridge. No good. Got some meat. Got some hams. Got some fish. Let's get some soda pop. Tyler, you want water? Soda? Juice? Whatever you want. I'm not picky. Wish um, any of it sounded good. Let's take some... I don't know, man. That both, that both looks like real cheap knockoff shit. You know what I mean? Juice and soda. Let's get some water. I'm grabbing some water. Some water. I'm grabbing some okay. water. I think we're done here. Tom will ring us up at the counter. Oh, they got nuts. Nuts and nuts and nuts. Mm-hmm. Just double checking. We don't need anything else. No, we're all good here. Alright, let's go. Allison, I'm waiting. Let's pay for the groceries. Oh my god, Allison, hurry up. Will that be all? Groceries. Yes. Uh. Thank you, Tom. Oh, hi, Tessa. We were just meaning to come talk to you. Hi, Tessa. Long time no see. My god, you look like a completely different person. It's me. Plus beard. <laughs> yes. So we were out at the old house today. Heavens, why would you go there? Surprised it's even still standing. We found some stuff in Mary Ann's room that took us by surprise. Oh, really? We want to ask you some questions about her. You're the only person who might have known Mary Ann better than us. I, I don't know about that. It's been a decade, kids. I know, but I need to ask. What is it? Did she ever talk about me being a boy? No. It never came up. I found out much later, just like everybody else. Marianne was obviously concerned. She really didn't confide in you at all? Your mother was intensely private. She didn't need anyone else, and she made that clear. But this was about Tyler. She was always willing to ask for help when it came to us. Not at the end. Look, I have a lot on my plate today. I'm sorry. My advice to you would be to try to move on. It's not that easy. 
what happened that night. You can't understand something like that, but it was God's plan. Ugh. That's all we can know. I need to go now. Best of luck to you, truly. Why would she bring up Drake in a moment like this? What the hell like was that? Okay. I told you she wouldn't talk. Complain. It's like she's got CIA training. Something's weird here. It's weird, right? Yeah, I feel it too. It's like something's on the tip of my tongue. Where's he going? You good? Yeah, you good, big boy? Alright, let's get going. Oh, nope. Not allowed to get going yet. Alright, going this way then. Oh, oh. My spidey sense is tingling. Oh, oh, oh. Guys, you all done yet? Yeah, Mom. Can we go outside while you and Tessa play cards? I'm afraid there's no time for games today, sweetie. Now let's go. Marianne, can you come here? Sorry, Tessa, I'm in a bit of a hurry. Oh, what's your excuse this time? Emergency repairs for the beaver dam? Tessa, look. No, I don't want to hear it. I want to talk to you now. Or do I need to start calling in your debts? Oh. Were they not friends? Oh, I'd completely forgotten about that. I remember it, but not exactly like that. Here, let's see if we can call up my version, okay? This is cool. This is some cool psychic shit, guys. Uh, Mom, can we go outside while you and Tessa play cards? No, there's no time for games today. Marianne, can we talk? No, we can't. Just leave the groceries, kids. Let's go. Don't. Please, let's just talk for a few minutes. Okay? That's okay. totally different. We remember that slightly differently. Totally different. Tone. I guess that makes sense. Rashomon, you know? But whatever happened, after that, they walked to the counter, and then Marianne lashed out at Tessa, right? Uh, no. Marianne defended us because Tessa got all preachy. I want to talk to you going to be? now. Please, let's just talk for a few minutes, okay? Oh, you hearing this? Marianne was looking for Or do for I need to start fight. calling in your debts? Please, let's just. I don't know which one to pick. Minutes. I'm so confused. Okay? Um. No, Tessa was. She went on Jack Thompson. I want to talk to you. No, nah, I'm gonna remember I it as Allison because I'm playing as now. Allison. Or do I need to start calling in your debts? The Lord disciplines those he loves. You're failing these kids, Marianne. Judge me all you want, but don't spew that hate around my children. Spew hate? I am trying to be your friend. They need a firm, <laughs> guiding hand, and you... My God. You actually think you're being a friend right now? Talking about my children that way? Yes, you might find this hard to believe, but friends aren't just for loans, Marianne. You really want to get into this? Fine. Let's go to your office. I'll be right back, kids. You stay inside, okay? What is wrong with you? God. Ah! I wish you would have trusted me on this. I really don't think Tessa was being that harsh. You don't know her. And regardless of who started things, once they were in the office, they both went at it. What do you think they were arguing about? Me? Don't know. It was impossible to hear over the music. But hey, now that we know she was lying to our faces, let's ask her. Oh, Jesus. Oh, I'm so tense. <laughs> Tell me why. <laughs> Is there something I can do for you? <laughs> Earlier you said Marianne kept everything to herself. But you two had a big fight a few months before her death, didn't you? We argued all the time. You'll have to be more specific. This wasn't about who cheated at Canasta. This was intense. 
You locked yourselves in the office so we couldn't hear. I'm sorry. It was a long time ago. Now, I was in the middle of something. Okay. We'll leave you to it. Damn it. I think she knows more than she's letting on. <sighs> uh, duh. But there's no way to nail her down when we don't even know what we mean. If we could pinpoint what it was about, she'd be out of excuses. Mm. Sure, but how do we do that? The music was too loud to make out what they were saying. Mm. Marianne and Tessa were obsessed with that song. It was on all the time. What are you thinking? We've been getting these visions whenever we see or hear something really emotional. Maybe listening to it will trigger something. Hmm. You okay. may be onto something here, Ronan. Okay. We can't go back to her with anything half-assed. I we know, right, Hannah. Tom. Hannah says sure I just want to know what's going on. As possible. Mood. Okay. Let's see if we can figure out what song it was. Oh, mood. Absolute mood. I just want to know what the truth is. Credit to the writing team on this on this game, yeah? We're leaving? Is that what we're doing? Maybe Michael will know. Having a smoke, hanging out. Hello there. Are you here for me or my cigarettes? Hey, you're more than just a pack of cigarettes to me. Are you working tonight? No, thank God. I've been pulling doubles all week. I'm working at the diner all day tomorrow, though. You want me to bring you anything? Uh, I'm trying to cut out carbs and grease for a while. Girl, you may as well just lay down in the dirt and let the bears take <laughs> you, because that is no way to live. Abso-fucking-lutely. So your deadline for the Culinary Academy was Monday, right? <sighs> I turned in my application, mother dear. Oh, I'm so excited. Are you excited? Well, I will be once I know I got in. I am not worried about that. Did you give them my recommendation letter? Mmm, no, hon. While that paragraph about my salmon puff recipe was <laughs> truly moving, it, it doesn't work like that. Psh, just tell them I discovered Bourdain. Then they'll take my opinion seriously. Later. Okay. We gotta figure out what's next to do, what we gotta do next. Okay. Um, I wish there was like a prompt system to like, where do I go, what do I do? You know? We should go talk to Tom, right? See if he remembers oh, okay. the song. Okay, sure. That helps. Helpful, helpful, helpful. Tom! Hey, Tom. There's something I can help you with? This might be a weird question, but... Do you remember the song that Tessa and Marianne used to love? They played it all the time? <laughs> How could I forget? Uh, I think she's still got the CD back here. A little worse for the wear, of course. Uh, hold on... Uh, here it is. I was happy when it got put away, to be honest. A bit cheesy for my tastes. It's, um... Never gonna give you up! Never gonna get you down! This is it, right? I think so. <laughs> Whoa, I just got hit with a flood of memories. You seen what I'm seeing? Yeah. Should we check this one out? That's so embarrassing! <laughs> oh, yeah? Tessa, come join me. I know you love this song. Oh, I couldn't possibly. Some of us are actually trying to George get George Casanza. I remember that song, Jerry! I forgot 
how carefree she could be. <laughs> yeah. What's up? What's up, Grinchington? I hope you're well, man. Oof. I don't know. This is jam this song is my jam, dude. I don't even know what this song is, but I'm fucking jamming to it. There's this memory. There's this memory. I feel it. I feel it. Is it for here? No, I can't go through there. There it is there. This is a cool sequence. The kids keep pestering me for these candies. They're so expensive. Don't just grab a bag. It's fine. Oh no, I, I can't, Tessa. It's nothing. Okay. But write it down in your little notebook. Okay, okay. Whatever you want. There. Happy? Yes. And I'll be by on Wednesday to help you close. Like I promised. Tessa acted like she was Marianne's mom sometimes. I think you mean Tessa was self-righteous and treated Marianne like a charity case. She was trying to help. We should see if we can find that notebook she was holding. I know Tessa still keeps a bunch of them in her cell. I really feel like Tessa was actually just trying to help and that Marianne was not the best. But it's tough. It's tough. It's black and white. What right? are you doing here? Uh, I thought you needed help with the store. I needed help two hours ago. Have you been drinking? Oof. What? No. I just had a day, okay? I took a pill. I'm fine. Ooh. Ooh. I said I'm fine. Kids, come on. Let's go. Wait, please. I have something for you. Take a look at this when you get home, okay? They can handle this confusion. I've been working with these people for years. They can help. Oh, it's the conversion camp thing. What do you think because she's like was super, super Christian. I don't know. I saw it in Mary Ann's room. It had a creepy vibe, but I didn't think much about it. It was bad, though. Mm. Like, maybe conversion mm -hmm. therapy bad. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. This is true. I want to know how Marianne felt about it. That's it, Hannah. You're, you're, you're right on the right on the nail. <sighs> Shouldn't we try to find something about the pamphlet Tessa gave Marianne? Good idea. What was the organization called? The Alliance Against Other People's Business. Can we just go through the shit while she's Can here? Can I help you, Allison? Oh, but no, no, thanks. I'm good. I'm just. Looking for something that I forgot. What's this doing here? What's the pelican from the notebooks? From the notebook. Ah, 2004. Anything interesting? Elijah. Elijah. June. June. Twenty-four dollars for a meal. The restaurant paid off. September eleven dollars. That's that's tasteless, guys. Come on. Uh. <laughs> Well, for the kid, I don't know who Elijah is though, so maybe she's got it's all the people that she helps out. I got a snooze, but I'm excited to watch this VOD in the morning. Have a good stream, bud. Thanks, Bane. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for the raid earlier. I really appreciate the love. Uh, yes, yeah, so you can watch the VOD over on Twitch or it'll be up on YouTube Someone by the time you wake up. Uh, who's this? This is Eric B. No, we don't want Eric. Oh, no, is that Marianne. A lot. Show. It looks like Marianne started flicking on her dead in October 2004. Five months before that night. Damn. $140, $55 check bands, no show, no show. So, yeah, I, I'm getting the impression that um, Tessa is actually a lovely person who just helps she seems like she helps a bunch of people in the town when they need it but Marianne just kind of started flaking and I just I don't know I'm still in the book that Marianne's a little bit of a no good no good no good lady which Should is unfortunate try to find something about the pamphlet Tessa gave Marianne good idea what was the organization called the alliance against other people uh Tessa is it okay if I run a quick google search my phone's dead Sure, but make it quick. I'm going to need the computer. Oh, 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 let's go for her emails. Barbara, the elephant in the room. Seize the day, Robin Williams! <laughs> what movie is that from, Hannah? What movie is that from? You got ten seconds. Nine, eight, seven, three, 
two is Dead Poet Society. Dead Poet Society. Oh, Captain, my Captain, sees the day. Fucking love Robin Williams. Um, Nicole. Nicole, Nicole, Nicole. God damn it, Hannah. Why don't you know? Samaritan Alliance. Two Seekers Youth Camp. <clears throat> Wait, what? Is that what she recommended for Tyler? This is recent. This is 2015. I'm sorry, Tyler. Yeah. Let's see how Tessa explains this one away. Tried to watch it once but fell asleep. Woots, Hannah, get out of my stream. You're no longer... Nah, I'm just kidding. I love you. Um, this is terrible. Ten powerful Christian quotes to change your life. Parents guide for preventing same-sex attraction. This is the real icky, icky religious yeah, zealotry. Yeah, got a good sense of what went down. Let's talk to Tessa. All right. Tessa, what the fuck, bro? Is there something I can do for you? I quit. Oh, shit. We're back, with details that should help your memory. Oh, really? Yes, really. We were buying groceries, and then you, you stormed in, threatening to call in debts and demanding that Marianne talk to you. It turned into an argument. So you guys went into the office and blasted that song you used to dance to all the time. Call in debts? I never, like I'm some kind of lone shark. When did this supposedly occur? Well, our memories don't exactly have time stamps. I can't be expected to take these accusations seriously if you can't even recall basic details. Oh, fuck. <sighs> yeah, Tessa's handwriting is terrible. I don't remember. Because we, we looked at it in the book when she had the deaths. Ah, oh, shit. Anyone? October? October, Hannah? Let's go. October 2004. That was when she stopped trying to pay her debts, right? Yes. Ah, I Hannah with the win! She always found a way to pay before Hannah, that. you my number one, bro. But we never argued about money. I, I was frustrated, but you can't squeeze blood from a stone. Yeah, we didn't think you guys were arguing about money. I told her about the camp. We know you support the Alliance for Traditional Families, and that you gave her the pamphlet about their camp. What camp? What camp? The... the... the camp of transition... The camp of graced waters? Hannah, do you got me again? You got two for two, mate? Because I fucking know. The camp for graced waters, I think, but... Any ideas? I'll give you a sec. The first one, the Virtue Seekers Youth Camp. Yeah, we'll go with that one. Alright, let's do it, Hannah, let's go! The Virtue Seekers Youth Camp. It was conversion therapy. You told her that Tyler should go there. I... Uh, um... I t Look, you yes. really decided I'm Judas, just like Marianne did. But I was trying to help. Tyler, she told me she'd been struggling with you, Thanks, and I heard such good things about that camp. You told her to send her child to conversion therapy. Do you know what they do to kids in those places? Do you? I do. No. And how did Marianne take your helpful suggestion? Badly. Mm -hmm. She wanted to let you be whatever perfect little butterfly was in that cocoon. And yes, we argued about it. So she was cool with who I was? She was more than that. She loved you. Listen, I don't mean to be rude, but I really do have a lot on my plate today. Okay. We'll get out of your way then. Thanks, Tessa. Damn. Damn, we learned a little bit there, hey. Can we grab our groceries? Ah, uh, um, Michael already put them in your trunk. Okay, thanks. Bye, Tom. Bye, See you Tom. later. Bye, George. <laughs> what are you thinking? <laughs> no suit for him. Uh, trying to wrap my uh, yeah, brain around is, is all that. that. I can't believe you got Tessa Vecchi to talk about the past. Bravo. 
Yeah. Good job, Hannah. Marianne, she had my back. It it really doesn't change much, right? She was still fucking crazy. She still tried to kill me. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. But knowing she was trying to protect me before whatever the hell happened that pushed her over the edge, it, it feels good, Allison. Hey, look at me. You are allowed to feel however you are feeling about this. God, I could use a smoke. <sighs> you're speaking my language. How so stressful, man. What? Not being unsure. Sorry, I'm just thinking about what this means. Yeah, me too. Why did she have the gun? Why did she have the gun? She looked like she had already been sobbing and crying. Well, it's a good thing Eddie's expecting us. He knew Marianne pretty well, and he was in charge of her case. Did he ever mention anything about the investigation to you? No, I never asked. And I'm sure he thought I was better off not knowing. Guess that might have made for some awkward dinner conversation. Exactly. But I mean, he's a good cop. Someone was trying to hurt them. It's a good I'm idea. Sure he's got something. Maybe he's got she was getting the gun to protect them, not to kill them. She like she was going somewhere. Yeah, I felt like someone was in the woods. Like I, I almost got an impression that she was about to go out hunting for something. Um, but I don't know. I don't know. I want to see the moment where Tyler kills kills the mum. Like, what's the context there? Like, has did she shoot at him at all, or did she just see the the sorry? Did Tyler just see his mum with a gun and then stabbed her? Or did the mum, did she take a shot at Tyler? Bleak. Like, I need to see that it's context. It's usually more crowded, but the other officers punch out at six o'clock sharp. <laughs> There's no crime after six? In the mean streets of Delos Crossing? Just bears and drunken disorderlies. And Uncle Eddie can usually handle them on his own. Hmm. <laughs> but what about drunk bears? Drunk bears? <laughs> Sounds like me anyway, on a Tuesday, you know what I'm saying? Office. Upstairs. Damn. They've still got this creepy mascot, huh? What? Officer Justin Beaver is not creepy. <laughs> he still is Crossing's longest serving officer. Justin Beaver! <laughs> Hold on. I want to catch up on all the Delos Crossing gossip. Love it. Have fun. Meet me in the open space when you Mining you're kills salmon. Sign the petition. We love music. Join the team. Let's go find Uncle Home sweet Eddie. home. Hmm. You spent a lot of time here growing up? Yeah, whenever Eddie was working. The whole precinct's basically family. Hmm. It's freezing in here. No one's home. Where are you, Eddie? Eddie? He's probably upstairs. Whew. That is going to smell lovely tomorrow. Mm. It's from Tessa's restaurant, Oh, right? dude, I want uh, to HSP. Everyone eats there all the time. It's as exciting as food gets in Delos Crossing. Ooh. 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 The senses are tingling. I got tingly senses. Where is it? No, no, I moved away from it. Is it up the stairs? I can't believe they're still sending psychiatric patients. Oh, it's in here. Yeah, I heard about that. It's so messed up. Can I open this door? Oh, right, like this? Here we go. Bang! Come on, man. We can't make these poor kids sleep here. Well, where do you suggest they go? Social services will be here in a few hours, and this is the only room with a bed. Anywhere but a cell. We'll find some other place. Here we go again. God, not here too. I'm not ready. Yeah. Me neither. That's tough. But that's a fair point. Like, where do you put Tyler, kids if they have to coming? stay at a station overnight? I wonder if, like, 
because we're in the middle of fucktown nowhere alaska right but i wonder if in more common stations around the world and particularly in like australia for example i wonder if they have places in police stations for children like suitable like holding just to keep an eye on them allison hey just finishing up a call Trying to convince Melinda the Ravens and her garbage aren't police business. Give me a few minutes. <laughs> sure. Make yourselves a cup of coffee. Here's the cup, key to the break room. Cup of coffee. Thanks. Come back upstairs when you're done, okay? Coffee sound good? The machine is in the break room downstairs. Uh-huh. He is not happy with this dude. Oh, no. Remember me. That's him, that's uh, the officer. He seems nice. I just, you, you know. know. I really thought I'd lock those memories in some deep, deep part of my brain. <sighs> Something's in the way. What do I do? Who blocked the fucking coffee room? Mate, if I was at an office job, something's in the way, and somebody blocked the goddamn coffee room. Oh, mate, it's the holding cell. Where do I have to go now? Uh, I don't care for what's in their desks. How do I? Wait, where am I supposed to go? I'm confused. I am confusion. What's the? Is there a word on this door? Wait, was it upstairs? Am I just stupid? Is it over here? Yes, it's here. That's okay. creepy. Let's go in. Where's the memory? Oh wait, it's gone. Hang on, hang on, we missed the memory. Is it in here? This is just the front entrance again. I don't know where this memory is, guys. My controller is vibrating, but I can see Eves. Vincenzi. Cool. Officer Wilson. Officer Wilson. I hear a phone vibrating. It's not my phone. Hey, that coffee is sounding real good. Ugh, they've let this place get gross. Wash your own dishes. Yeah, fucking do it. How is this still warm? You sure you want coffee this late in the day? You'll be up all night. Uh, I don't think I'll sleep much anyways. I love a cup of coffee. Too much in my mind. Make myself some dusty couches coffee. won't make it any easier. Hey, you okay? Oh, here we go, here we go, here we go. I can't do this. Calm down, Allison. Stick to the plan. Come on, don't freak out on me now. I can't. Please, I can't lie. We already lied. It's all gonna be fine, okay? You okay? Honestly, no. Do you ever regret? No, no way. Well, maybe once or twice early on, but now, no way. I mean, look where we're at. Look where I'm at. Look at where we are. Uncle Eddie's probably done by now. Look at where we, we started. Do you mind if I go inside that room for a second? Uh, you sure? Yeah, you do, you boo. Wow. It's the first time I've been in here since that night. Eddie was so uncomfortable, he dropped a vase. Move, brother, move! Thank you, thank you. Here. Have a seat. All right. Ah, 
damn it. No. Sorry. It's still there, but it's like glued together. That's this? That's cute. It's that vase. They glued it back together. Boom, 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 boom. What are you looking at? Uh, this poster. Exploring National I kept staring at it that night. I was picturing myself in the forest, hunting for goblin treasure. <laughs> Just wanted to be anywhere but here. That's what started yeah. his interest in the, being a ranger. That's cool. Alright, let's go back upstairs. Ah, oh, yeah, this is awkward. This is heavier than I expected. <clears throat> Got them gains, though. We got them gains. Let's get back upstairs. Let's talk to Uncle. Hey, sorry that took so long. Sometimes these old folks want us to come out just because they're lonely. Yeah. No worries, Uncle. Hey, do you remember this guy? Here we go. Yeah, of course. How can I forget? Tyler Ronan, back in Delos Crossing. It's uh, good to be back. And just look at you, a man grown. Yep, guess I ate my Wheaties. <laughs> whole clan's so proud of you. How you work with those kids at Fireweed. I always say children of the future. <laughs> I thought that was Whitney Houston. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, bro. She stole her entire act from me. Everybody knows that. <laughs> Now nah, he seems Look like a nice too. guy. I like him. Reunited and it feels so good, huh? <laughs> yeah. Not sure how I got by without this dork. Look, Eddie, we aren't here just to say hi. We found something in Marianne's room. Things aren't really adding up anymore, and we've got questions. Oh, yeah? Did she mention anything about us that might have been worrying her? About Tyler in particular? No. She dealt with those kind of worries all on her own. Kept the rest of us at arm's length. I see. I will tell you one thing, though. Mm -hmm. Your mom. Mm -hmm. Never knew her to hate anyone for being unconventional. That doesn't Usually. make sense. It's the other way around. Did anyone mention anything about her behavior in the days leading up to that day? Anything at all? No. Everyone I talked to said it took them by surprise. Did you see her at all? Like, in those last few days? No. I hadn't seen her for... weeks. Damn. Maybe a month before. What if it was her twin sister? And swap places, and it's the real mother's been stuck in a basement for 10 years. Oh, what? No. Thanks, Uncle Eddie. If you want my advice, nothing good comes from stirring up old memories. Yeah, that's true. We don't really have a choice about that. There's always a choice, son. I know sometimes it doesn't seem like it, but there is. <laughs> Can we take a look at her file? Maybe we'd see something you didn't. Her file? Her case file, or police file, whatever you call it. You keep those pretty much forever, right? We do, but I can't just pull it out right here, right now. There are procedures. <laughs> but you're the chief. Which makes it even more important that I follow procedures. Look, Chief Brown, are you gonna help us? Or are you gonna be a cop about Tyler! This? No, it's fine. Tyler, I know you resent me, but Fireweed was the best deal I could get you. I'm not mad about Fireweed. But I may be a little salty you kept my sister away for seven fucking years. That's what this is about? Look, that was the court's recommendation. They're the experts. I just went along. Yeah, sure you did. Trust me, son. We all believed that what happened that night was self-defense. But we couldn't be sure. <laughs> I can't believe this. Look, we couldn't be sure, okay? I was trying to protect you both. So you still not sure? What? You still think keeping us apart was the right call? She was traumatized. We needed each other to heal. And you took that away from us. So why didn't you let your sister visit when you turned 18 Uncle, then, huh? Uncle, please. Let's move on. She's never going to tell you how much that hurt her. But it did. That was about me. 
it wasn't about her. Allison gets that. And three years is nothing compared to seven. Right, Allie? Eddie was just doing his best to protect me. To protect his family. I thought I was your family. You are. Seven years apart didn't change that. Ten years apart didn't either. But Eddie's family too. Look, we've all fucked up. We've all hurt each other. But isn't that what family's for? Can't we just move on? Sounds like the right call. <laughs> Times like this, I... I wonder who raised who. We're gonna stay the night at the old house. We better get going. You wanna grab a bite first? It's on me. Don't wanna send you out there with empty stomachs. I would not turn that down. Okay, let's go. I know he's hurt, but I feel like it was wrong. It's it, you can't blame this guy. What the fuck? The fuck is that? What the fuck was that? What the fuck was that? What was this fucking? Yeah. to kill you! No! Please! Please! Mom! Mom, please! No, don't do this! Tell them. No, no. Yes. We look out for each other. That's what goblins do. And brothers and sisters. It's gonna be okay. We're gonna be okay. <laughs> That's episode one, isn't it? What the fuck? Oh, sh shit, boys. Oh, my God. That was insane, right? What the flying fuck? What was that? The creature, the Mad Hunter, was that just a personification of, of Tyler's fears? Right? Like, I don't know if that's real. I don't know if the Mad Hunter is real, right? Because it's explored that the Mad Hunter is, is this, this, like, figure created by Mum 
in the books, right? He's like the villain of the stories, right? So maybe he saw the Mad Hunter in that moment when he fell because it's his personification of a villain. And he felt scared in that moment like when he reads the books. But what if it's actually like a supernatural fucking being coming to hunt him and shit? Because what the fuck? It, he's popping up again in, in the police station? So, but maybe he's just getting scared again and it's the personification of that fear. Maybe the Mad Hunter is just in Tyler's head. But fuck, the twist that, 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 uh, 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 Alison, Alison? Is that her name? I fucking forgot it. But the sister, the sister stabbed the mum. And he took the fall for it. Imagine taking the fall for it. For your sister. I would do that for my sister. It's the least he could do. Like, you just take the fucking knife for it. God damn. That's insane. Oh. Yeah, you got that feeling. Hannah says, in the police station, I had the feeling she killed the mum. No, for me, I did not get that impression at all. I'm, I'm glad you did, but just... Crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Um, I liked it. Episode one so far, I think it's really cool. I think it's really engaging. That was just... It was two and a half hours on the dot. Thanks for hanging out, guys. Thanks for hanging out in the stream. Uh, I'm going to call it there for this week. Oh, not this week. This episode. <laughs> I'm going to play it again tomorrow, ooh, maybe on Wednesday, maybe not tomorrow, maybe more on Wednesday afternoon, um, we'll see how we go from there, but, um, yeah, I just want to, uh, ooh, Tyler, and this is like the statistics for the, for the thing, 78% of people accepted the ring, 13% refused the ring, 9% threw it in the water, uh, 87% of people solved the puzzle and 13% busted through the door. Tyler felt unrecognized by Allison's lack of trust in the store. 54% chose Tyler's memory. 46% chose Allison's. So I was in the minority there. Uh, Tyler sensed the rift between them. 70% sided of Tyler. 30% sided of Eddie. I was in the minority there too. But I feel like we were in Allison's head. At that moment, and I feel like the moment she's gonna trust the guy who raised her, her, her estranged brother, right? But teach her own. And Tyler protected himself against Sam's aggression. Fifty-two percent called Sam out. Forty-eight percent didn't. I didn't want to aggravate the drunk stranger in my house. Uh fifty-two percent learned the truth about uh, Tessa. Thank you, Hannah, for that assist there. Um. And finally, Eddie. Eddie felt validated by Allison's family plea when she started from at the station. 30% sided with Eddie. 70% with Tyler. I think we did good. I think that was fun. Um, yeah, guys, thank you so much for hanging out. Um, I want to just reiterate. Uh, let's just fix this up. I want to reiterate. Reiterate. Thank you to Bane for the raid. Thanks, Pedromi, for the new follow. Thanks, everyone who hung out and watched. Um, Hannah, you are always, always my my number one on the east side. Um, thank you to Silly for dropping past. Uh, thanks, Bane. Thanks, Pedromi. Thank you. All the lurkers in the chat. And, of course... The sly comments from Harold Grinchington. Um, I will be back again sometime this week. Just keep me a follow on Twitter. At, um, I'm James Gretch on Twitter, which is right down there. Um, and you can see when I tweet uh, next time I go live. But we're going to go straight into episode two. So I'm really excited about that. And I will see you guys all then. Um, thanks. Uh, have a great afternoon, evening, morning, and um, be excellent to each other. Bye.